Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to record and edit your vocals in Cakewalk. To add an audio track, click on Insert at the top of the screen. Then click on Audio Track on the pop-up menu. Then click on the Expand icon on the track header. By default, the metronome is switched on for recording. To switch off the metronome for recording, click on the metronome record icon. Click on the icon again so it is blue to turn on the metronome. To set a count in for the metronome, click on the metronome icon. Currently, the counting is set to zero. But to have a four beat counting, click on the plus icon next to the text box to the right of the words record counting. It should now say one in the text box. Then click on OK. Now before we start recording, turn off any external speakers that are plugged in to your computer and plug in some headphones into your computer or laptop. This should stop the metronome sound or the backing track sound being recorded by your microphone. Next, we need to add the microphone to the input of the audio track. So click on the drop down list for the input on the track header. And then select your microphone input. Now click on the record icon on the track header. Your vocals should now be shown on the meter on the track header. Adjust the volume of the microphone so the green bar on the meter reaches about minus 18 dB. To set this correctly, do this while singing. I came from the emptiness. I came from the emptiness. I came from. Now click on the record icon at the top of the screen and start recording your vocals. I came from. The emptiness, I came from the emptiness, the emptiness, the emptiness. The wave sections on the vocal recording show where your vocals are. To remove the parts of the recording between the vocals, click at the beginning of the waves or at the end of a wave. To be more precise with your editing, turn off Snap by clicking on the Snap icon at the top of the screen. Now, right mouse click on the recording. Then click on Split on the pop-up menu. and then click on OK. Now click on the section you want to remove. Then click on the right mouse button. Move the mouse cursor over Edit on the pop-up menu. 
and then click on Cut on the pop-up menu. Then click on OK. The cut function is non-destructive, so if you need to move the trim positions, you can drag the end of the edited section. I came from the emptiness I came from the emptiness. If your vocals aren't exactly in sync with your song, press the left mouse button on the track and drag across your recordings. This will highlight your recordings. Now press on one of the highlighted recordings and drag left or right. Only recordings that are highlighted will be moved. Sometimes you might want to copy or replace parts of your recording. To delete a part of the recording, click on the part that you want to remove. Right mouse click on the recording. Move the mouse cursor over edit and then click on Delete. To copy a recording, click on the recording. Then right mouse click on the recording. Move the mouse cursor over Edit. And then click on Copy. Then click on OK. Now click on the track where you want to place the new copy. Then right mouse click on the track. Move the mouse cursor over Edit. Then click on Paste. I came from the emptiness. I came from the emptiness. You can also use the metronome to check whether your vocals are in sync with your song. To turn on the metronome for playback, click on the metronome playback icon. I came from the emptiness. I came from the emptiness. Click on the metronome playback icon again to turn off the metronome on playback. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.